All right, Alan, I have one more tough question for you, and that's it. <laughs> and it's a real I doozy. We, I, I, had, I didn't think we'd got to the tough questions yet. <laughs> really? Okay. <laughs> How can you prove that Ubuntu is the most popular Linux distribution? <laughs> oh, man, this is a good question. How can you prove? Because we do hear that a lot, right? And I think that I think that common sense dictates that, yeah, Ubuntu probably is. But you also see headlines and you see press releases from people like Zorin saying, hey, Zorin OS 15 is, has hit almost a million downloads in nine months. And I think that's impressive, but I don't have any kind of metric to compare it against. Yeah, it's difficult because numbers are generally commercially sensitive for any organization. It's yeah. different for... A one man band or a tiny Linux distribution that, uh, you know, wants to, you know, talk up where they've got to. They've hit a milestone, you know, we've got a mm. thousand downloads or we've got a million downloads or whatever it is. And they want to talk that up to let people know that people are downloading this thing. What I would say is downloads are a terrible, terrible measure of your popularity. Yeah. Um, having seen the web stats for uh, the Ubuntu ISO downloads, they in no way translate to users. There's no correlation between the number of times your ISO is downloaded and the number of people using it. You can look at third-party things, like you can look at the Steam survey. I wouldn't look at things like the contributions to ProtonDB because they're a different class of user. Uh, they are the tweakers. Are, yeah, they're the tweakers going yeah, out of their and a, way and a to lot make of them. Their yeah, and a lot of them will run Arch or Manjaro or something like that. Mm -hmm. And I've certainly seen people talking about how something is the top of that list, therefore it's the most popular. It's most popular among that that niche of like it's the it's the parasite on the fly on the back of the dog. Like it's it's such a <laughs> tiny subset of the whole entity if linux is the dog i mean we're probably the flea in fact um <laughs> but i don't have a good answer for you because i always try and cite third parties who have good data and third parties that have good data are things like steam survey wikimedia various net surveys anything which is a popularity contest where you click on things mm -hmm. dismiss out of hand because right. they can be easily gamed for example DistroWatch. Don't get me started on DistroWatch. Oh, um, man, that's, yeah. that's an entirely different episode. <laughs> yeah. The the measure for DistroWatch is it's a, it's a measure of people clicking on pages, right? It's a measure of people clicking on release pages, news pages, and the individual distro pages. Notice when there's a news article for elementary on the front page of DistroWatch, you'll notice that it rises up the list, the, the stats. Of course. Is that because elementary is more, more users now? Or is it just because they've written an article about it and it links directly to that page in the article? I think it's more likely that Occam's <laughs> razor is at work here. It's difficult because we get given uh, data by third parties. Like we've, you know, been given access to information by uh, companies who monitor this kind of stuff. And so we know it is. Um, but unfortunately, it's not our data and we can't share it. And that's that's frustrating. Um, what I can point to is the numbers that other people have published. Um, and so some of the other distros have published their user numbers as far as they can track them. But, uh, interestingly, well, PPAs have stats on them. You can actually get stats of how many people are downloading things from PPAs. And some Linux distributions have PPAs enabled by default. And so as a result uh, from that, you can extrapolate roughly how many users a distro has by how many times the PPA is hit when a new release of a package hits that PPA. And so mm -hmm. there, there are some ways to see, you know, with data that's out there, but there is, I don't think there will ever be a, here's a list of all the distros and here's how many yeah. users they have. Can you point to growth? Can you say, yes, Ubuntu is growing? Uh, one of the, one of the metrics that we, um, uh, we show every few months at internal company events is uh, the number of people who have certain snaps installed, high profile, you know, that everyone's heard of. A while ago, we would go to an event and talk about the, the 100K club, <laughs> the, the, the snaps that have hit 100,000 installs. And then it became the 200k club very soon afterwards and then it becomes the 500k club and so yes there is growth wow and it's great to see uh 
popular applications being used by a lot of people on a regular basis on yeah. on Linux. So yeah, it it is growing. Um, maybe not as exponentially as you know we'd like. Maybe it would be great if you know that percentage we see in the Steam survey grew a little bit faster. But it's it's difficult. <laughs> <laughs> 